This was uh, in February 2009, it says right there. This was released. Here's this official stamp. This was released in February 2009. So from February 2009, they have known. They have known that there was supposed to be two wells drilled. Yet no one is telling you this on TV, ladies and gentlemen. Is there something wrong with this picture? This is public information. Alright? Now, let's see if I, I know somewhere on here it tells you the number of days that they have to, in fact, uh, produce, um, to produce a result from, uh, drilling these exploration wells. And I'm pretty sure it's a hundred days. Alright? All we, all we have to do is find out what happened to well B. MC252 underscore B. That's what we have to figure out. No one's telling you this on TV. All right, now here's the application. Let's see if we have the, uh... Now, who knows? Maybe they had 100 days to drill two of them. I know it's on here. I'm going to find it for you. Uh, well had, uh, well had... Here we go. Here we go. Okay, look. The proposed activity. I looked at it before, but I didn't show you all this. Proposed activity. Drill and temporarily abandon well location A. Drill and temporarily abandon well location B. Start date. Okay, start date. Here we go. The start date for well A. April 15th, 2009. Did they reach that start date? I don't think so. Or maybe they did. I don't know. Because with such a vacuum of information. End date. August 24th. I'm sorry. End date. July 24th, 2009. So well A should be long dead and gone. As of July 24th, 2009. Okay. That's a hundred days from April 15th. Alright? What happened to this well? <laughs> Could somebody please tell me what happened to this well? Is that the well we're looking at? Because a hundred days from April 15th, the proposed plant starting date, it should have been long dead and gone. Okay? Now for well B, the starting date was April 15th, 2010. Okay? And it should have been done July 24th, 2010. A hundred days from April 15th, they should have finished it. Now, are you trying to tell me that five days into drilling this well, that the Deep Horizon rig exploded? Because that's what it looks like to me. Unless they are so behind schedule on well A, that they are literally a year behind schedule on well A. Is that what we're to believe? I don't know. But it's right here, in black and white ink. Alright? So, I mean, you make your conclusions. I personally believe that we're looking at a dog and pony show on TV that we're looking at well A and well B was completely destroyed just like Matt Simmons said or just like Matt Simmons indicated because you know Matt Simmons has uh, he probably has some kind of a contract to protect you know so he's not going to tell you a hundred percent of the story and you know that's an old trick it's an old trick of inside whistleblowers yeah, particularly uh, the CIA uh, they follow something that I like to call the 95-5 rule which means that when you're going to release information, you release 95% of the truth, and you discolor it with 5% bullcrap. All right? And what that intention is, the intention of that is to provide just enough disinformation to d discredit the core of true information, and that way it'll free you from uh, all sorts of uh, legal problems and whatever. And that's what they do. I'm telling you. So, you know, you be the judge. I am of the opinion that we are looking at well A on TV. It follows the exact coordinates of well A, okay? It follows, uh, and you know, it's right there on the map with all the disinformation being released by BP. I can't see how it's not well A. You can't trust BP, people. You can't. You can't trust the government either. We don't know who's running the show. And there's plenty of information about Matt Simmons and all his theories that I'm not going to even mention here because there's enough of that information out there already. I'm just showing you the exact documentation. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to provide a link to this video. I mean, to this document in the video um, if I get around to it. But we'll see. All right? So, for now, this is as much as I'm going to tell you because, uh, you know, i got other things to do and whatever. So that's it, folks. You be the judge. Are we looking at well A? Or are we looking at well B? Alright? 
I'll definitely tell you we're not looking at Well MC-252 because there is no such well. That is the name of the area and block. It's a block and lot location map. That's what we're talking about. It's a survey map. All right? Giving you the precise coordinates, probably to the tenth of an inch. Because that's how it's usually measured. So, that's it, people. And uh, with that, I'm going to end this video.